Hey streamers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can go live on your WordPress website with Streamlabs and WP Stream. So if you've been with us for a while or have been streaming for some time now, you may have heard of OBS Studio. So OBS Studio is a free pro tool that you can use to broadcast live events on your website or any other platform. We use custom RTMP and often recommend our clients do so as well. Streamlabs is kind of the next step from OBS Studio. So you can consider OBS Studio the OG, the original, and then come Streamlabs with more features. And it allows you to have more creative freedom over how you personalize your broadcast. You can add overlays, different themes, widgets like chat boxes, alerts when someone likes your video, subscribes, or gives you a tip. You can multi-stream to multiple platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and of course your WordPress website using custom RTMP. And yeah, it's just great and a step up for advanced users, but beginners can also use it as well because like I said, everything is preset and with just a click of a button, you can add all the themes and overlays. So here it says that Streamlabs OBS has more features than OBS Studio because it has a tab dashboard integrated chatbot theme tabs and all these extra feature that makes it an ideal solution for streamers who need advanced features so if that doesn't convince you i don't know what will but of course obs studio will still be our og and we'll always recommend it so let's continue if you go back you will want to make sure you get the wp stream plugin on your wordpress website because that's what we're going to be using to um, video stream on our website. So after you've installed and activated, go to WP Stream credentials and you can either sign in if you already have an account or register. Once registered, it will take you to your WP Stream dashboard where you will find your free trial package and you can also confirm your email address to receive an extra five gigabytes of streaming data. So don't forget to do that. Go back and enter your details to connect to WP Stream. Then you can go to channels and let's create a channel. So you can either create a free or pay-per-view channel. In this video, I'm going to be creating a free channel, but for a pay-per-view channel and to find out how to do that, make sure you check out one of our other videos. I'll have it linked and let's create a free channel. So add a title, you can add any bio information, featured images, tags, and publish once you're happy with your result. Now you can even check out the settings. You have the option of recording your live stream so that you can create a video on demand later, but I'm not doing that in this video. I'm just going to start a live event straight away. And while that loads, let's go to Streamlabs. So make sure you have it downloaded. And here is how it looks like. You have a mini feed where all your new followers and stuff like that will be shown, scenes and sources. So under sources, if you click plus, you can add any images or media, things like that to your actual screen so that you can broadcast. I'm just going to start off with an image that I edited earlier to include our social handles. So our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook handles. And of course, if you're here, make sure you follow us on social so that you can stay up to date with all our um, posts. And then I'm going to also add another media file, another video, so that I can show you how it looks like on screen. So click on media source and add source. Of course, you have to adjust it however you want it to look like on your broadcast. And that's it. You can also add other stuff like widgets and overlays and things like that, but make sure you leave a comment if you would like to see that. I will create another video for Streamlabs that includes all of those things, including multi-streaming if you wish. So yeah, now that we have that sorted, now let's go live by going to settings, stream, 
And here you will find that you can go live on multiple platforms, including under Surface, Twitch, Facebook, Restream, Twitter, and things like that. But I'll be changing from streaming services to custom streaming server, and you'll find the URL and stream key. So you'll get the stream key by going back to WP Stream and clicking on Go Live with External Broadcaster. So Streamlabs is considered an external broadcaster. And here is the server and stream key. Simply copy and paste the server and stream key into the respective fields. And click on done when done. Now you can click on go live on the right corner at the bottom. And your stream should be live. So let's go back to our WP stream and click on view channel and it will take you straight to your broadcast on your WordPress website. You can go full screen, you can also go picture in picture, and you can move it around the screen if you wish to. As you can see, there are the handles at the top, so that's great if you're, let's say, a gamer, a musician, and you have a following on other socials and you want to show that as well. And once you're done, go to Streamlabs and click on End Stream. If you go back to your website, you will see that the broadcast would have ended and the following message will appear. And that's how you can go live with Streamlabs on your WordPress website with WP Stream. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below with what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon with another one. Bye.